Former Treasurer Troy Buswell's returned to work in his electorate, but he's dodging questions over the night that ruined his political political career. The damage bill from his destructive drive homes expected to run into the tens of thousands and now there's doubt it will be covered by insurance. Troy Buswell says he's back at work in Bustleton, but he won't answer about the night that shattered his political career and left taxpayers with a bill that could run into the tens of thousands. Mr Buswell, will you, will you answer our questions? At what point, Mr Buswell, will you, uh, will you answer our questions? Mr Buswell never gave a statement to police or explanation to the courts. Living all over the road. Yeah. He's taken up two lanes, nearly hitting everything on the side as well. Um, and when we pulled up behind him out in front of his premises, his um, whole front bumper was hanging off. This call from a witness wasn't followed up for two weeks and Mr Buswell was never breath tested. The was doled up to the nines and clearly can stand on his own two feet. Premier Colin Barnett is standing by his former treasurer. There are tests if you are convicted of a serious criminal offence that would bar a person from being a member of parliament. That is not the case. Liberal backbencher Rob Johnson disagrees. Well, I'm afraid we're letting people down at the moment and that is why I believe Troy Buswell should not come back to parliament. He should do the honourable thing and resign. It's estimated the damage bill could be as much as $40,000, a bill likely to be picked up by taxpayers through an insurance payout. Risk cover will decide whether the payout will be made. It's still assessing the insurance claim, but is awaiting a police report which is yet to be received. But lawyer John Hammond says the claim may not be granted due to risk cover's strict policy. If you've been driving in an unsafe manner, then it's likely that you won't get insurance from the state government for any injuries or damage caused. Ebony Ferranda, Nine News.